We're starting tonight in Richland County, where County Council took another big step toward officially tearing down Richland Mall this evening. News 19's Peyton Lewis has more on what economic promises the project hopes to bring. English? Yes. Newton? Yes. Motion approved. That's how fast Richland County was able to make the decision to move ahead with plans to tear down what's left of Richland Mall and start redesigning. Tonight, Richland County Council voted to approve tax incentives on the Richland Mall property to offset the cost of redevelopment for developers interested in buying pieces of the Richland Mall. Councilman Paul Livingston, who's the head of the Economic Development Committee, says he believes this is the right move for Richland County. Uh, so I'm Thoroughly excited about what they can do for that community. The mall is set to be turned into a mixed development with a public park, condos, and several businesses. Although it's all still in negotiations with developers, Councilman Joe Walker says the project is expected to bring millions to the area. I, th I think that it's a, it's a nine-figure project that the developer is shouldering uh, on its own. Uh, the county has certainly stepped up and helped with some, some tax uh, allowances. Livingston explained the stores still remaining in the mall will not stay in the same place once the redesign begins. The current Belk store uh, will be moved into a new location there. Um, there will be other stores there. And plans for the mall could be finalized and construction trucks rolling out in the near future. We're still, still, it's still in designing phase and so forth, so it may be a while before you see the bulldozer, um, but not long. Not nearly as long as, as it has been. <laughs> Reporting in Columbia, Peyton Lewis, News 19, WLTX. All of the plans that are being discussed are still in negotiations with developers, so no renderings or any finalized mock-ups have been released as of yet.